I was doing a rest control training uh, with a partner and during that I caught a forearm from him in the side of the neck. The key thing was I had a degenerative lower back condition and I was doing everything possible to not have the surgery. I, I had tremendous pain uh, in my lower back and primarily on my uh, down my left leg uh, and that pain seemed to be increasing each day. I saw that you had a huge disc herniation that was pushing on your spinal cord. And I was like, this guy needs help, otherwise something bad's gonna happen to him. I was scared to death coming in for my initial appointment with you, because I, I, re I remember that. <laughs> I, uh, I felt like I knew what the news was gonna be. And I don't know if you recall, but you put me through all these series of tests and testing strength and looking at MRI scans and stuff. And then I put you through a test I asked you to hold your hands out. <laughs> that was my test, was to make sure that you had steady hands before you started cutting into my, my neck. If you had to say, how much did it affect your life? It gradually affected all of it. Your slip was so bad. You know, it, it was just keeping going. And, and it was bone on bone. It was just crushing your nerves. I couldn't get out of bed very easily. Uh, in order to walk, I needed a cane. I couldn't stand on my left leg. Uh, I was, I felt like I was soon going to have to be in a wheelchair. So I saw you and, and we looked at these films together and we saw that you've had previous surgery uh, at a different level in your spine. Now you've developed more arthritis at, at levels above it and, and that arthritis was manifested by, by the development of a cyst. And I remember talking to you and we talked about all the different options that were available to you. From, from our most conservative options of, of really doing nothing to then progressing to physical therapy, injections, and then, and then as a final option, uh, considering surgery. I felt that you did a, a very good job of laying the options out. Underscored for me, which stuck in my mind, that you wanted to be as non-invasive as possible, but yet get the job done, and I was impressed with that. I can honestly say that my goal is to avoid surgery, but many times there's not many options. And once we step over that, that threshold into the time when we decide to do surgery, I, I hope my patients know that they, are, they aren't going to be abandoned and we're going to get through this together. And when patients do well like yourself, it really kind of makes my day. It really makes, makes my life. It's, what, it's why I do this. It's good to establish these relationships because right, we've got to look at you as a whole person, not, not just as a neurosurgery patient. Everything that's going on with you, everything that's going on with your life, and, and then we can treat you, treat you most appropriately. Well, it puts, it put my mind at ease, uh, getting to know the person that was going to be doing the surgery on me. Once we had it done the next day, the leg pain was simply not there. It was 100% relief. I can move without discomfort and pain. Uh, I can move around almost to the full extent as uh, before the surgery. The walking and the hiking and the activity, I found that I did have my life back together. So Scott, did we help you get your life back? Absolutely. So do you feel like this procedure was able to give you your life back? Oh yeah, absolutely. You gave me back something that I hadn't had in a long time and that was basic mobility. What I retained was the ability to enjoy some of the most basic things of life. That's the way I look at it. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh.